Greetings, YouTube and buddies. I am Ultimate 23 Dragon, along with uh, Sonic Taylor or Ultra Sonic Taylor. I'll explain why. <laughs> My bestie has a little bit of an issue with the YouTubian overlords and its own partners, so we're going to discuss a little issue that he has against the YouTubian overlords and other people trying to claim stuff on his channels. And I know a lot of people probably have this problem. It's the supposed copyright issues that have been going on. Now, if you have noticed, if you were subscribed to Sonic Killer, you haven't seen anything lately, there's a reason for that. Explain why? Yeah, basically the YouTubian overlords have decided to terminate the Sonic Taylor channel because a few people say, Hey, he's using our stuff. He's not allowed to do that. <laughs> Take your stuff down. Sorry, I had to laugh at that one. <laughs> Continue on. This is something of that's always puzzled me in one way or another. If you guys, YouTubian overlords or otherwise, have issues with us showing off your stuff, which he's fan, he's a fan of, why not just tell him, hey, can you please not load our stuff anymore? We appreciate that you were a fan of our stuff, and we want to show it for ourselves. That would have been a much easier way of doing this. You don't have to do the, oh, he's trying to use our stuff. You gotta take it out and all that stuff. For example, the two examples I have on this sheet of paper are Home Box Office, aka HBO, and Edmol USA, which is the ones who do the Steve Harvey show, which he watches. If you don't know who Steve Harvey is, you might want to say, hmm, two words. Family Feud! Look it up! <laughs> I think what you guys are having a problem with is the fact that you have fans who want to show off your stuff so they can get other people into your stuff. If you try and block or remove said stuff, you're realistically only hurting yourselves. Because by doing that, you get other people disinterested in your stuff, saying, well, they don't want to show it anyway. They just want to show it for all themselves so they can earn money. They don't want to do it for the fun of it all or to entertain the masses. They just want to do it for money. Very bad thing, don't you think? Very bad. <laughs> Unless you're showing your own stuff and you're earning money off that, like a lot of YouTube partners do, then you saying we don't want to do with this, so we're gonna block it to make sure no one sees the stuff we made that's supposed to be intended for viewing eyes anyway. There's no logic there. It just isn't. What you guys should be doing is that if you think that a person is showing off your stuff, take advantage of it. Get a more audiency position with this. Basically what you guys should be doing is requesting YouTube to monetize the video so they, you guys, can earn money. That's what 
purpose of all this? If you guys can earn a little more bang for your buck, you keep your fans interested, you help the people who want to show off this stuff, and then you guys can be happy, the person who's a fan of you can be happy, and then everyone wins. Because the more people see stuff involving you guys, the more of a following you can have. But by trying to rage out against these kind of people, all you're doing is hurting yourselves. That was pathetic. How does that hurt? Tastefully? I don't think so. Because you took down something that I don't know if really had for a long time, especially one video I had. Family Feud special of Honey Boo Boo versus Cake Boss. That was the longest viewing video I had on my original account. account. Even though Spider I had a whole bunch of negative comments because of the background noises. Maybe you should understand this, but I had family over that day and I wanted to do like the traditional sound of the Winnie Bell sound from the original feud. They don't do that no more. And I get negative comments about that? Hey, my video, my work, my camera, get the golf works. And because of you, and because of all these two, my channel got taken down. For example, Louis C.K. won the same list from HBO. That got taken down. That thing came out in 2006. Second in two my strikes that I got was one from Steve Harvey's first season of his talk show, which, uh... When I uploaded it two years ago, you didn't have a problem with that, but now you did. And that's what got me from my channel got deleted and everything I had on. And I had almost 600 subscribers. Now I gotta start all over again. Thanks to you two, you sorry bastards. You happy now? the stuff back either way and I'm gonna re reload the videos. Now if you want to to subscribe to my channel, Ultra Side Taylor, because I changed it because I want to do something a little different, you can once look at the link down below or above on top of your screen. Or you can just go on her channel, which I'll send a link at the end or between these videos and you'll see where my channel is on her channel, which is Ultimate 23 Dragon. And if you're a fan of her work, congratulations, and I appreciate it. You should be a fan of my work, too, because, let's face it, I'm a huge fan of Family Feud and Double Deer. Super sloppy and family, not two downs, and two doesn't suck. Don't quote me. So, uh, you get the little point, YouTube? Monetize the stuff, because I do this on my videos, but it says you should have no legal rising rights to it. So what? The show came out a long time ago. The only thing you want to seriously block is, um, I don't know, the Ellen DeGeneres show when I upload them because it's still owned by Have Tele Pictures and Warner Brothers. Hey, you pretty much will get that on my own channel too, especially the video with Steve Harvey and Ellen DeGeneres. Both comedians, both good friends. So what's the big deal, YouTube? We can't upload stuff that we kind of like. But you seriously want to be, as you said, and case your point with, with the word, what was it you said about YouTube? The YouTube being overlords? Yeah, I kind of like that. There should be a movie about it. <laughs> <laughs> but you, you see my point. Leave my channel alone because i got to get this stuff back over again. Especially my double dare ones. And I hope I got that video one with the prices right when Bob Barker was doing it and I recorded it with Rock Roddy before he passed away. If I don't, oh, thanks YouTube. I gotta do find it over again. Next! The one is the next subject we're still talking about is the capital R A C I S M. Third mm -hmm. part about it. In case you're wondering about these things too, let's not forget what happened with down in Texas. Mm -hmm. This is another problem I keep seeing lately, and I don't like this. Me 
in either. Someone gets pulled over, is argumentative with the officer. The person tries to attack the person. Case in point, if you haven't read about it, or you can look on the news on Fox News Channel, unless you're ABC, they suck. The cop told the person who pulled over, if you haven't read about this, I will light you up. First of all, you don't say that to someone who's pulling over when they're lighting, you know, a cancer stick. If you don't know what it means, it means a cigarette. But mm -hmm. he was in the wrong. People do not know how to do a proper investigation. You guys want to claim something off something else and then try to implement it here. Hmm, a dark colored person was killed by an officer. The officer is guilty. Or, hmm, a light colored person was hurt by an officer. Maybe it's the other person's fault. Uh, can we actually do a type of investigation where we don't judge based on color or try to make something else happen? If the person who was questioned does something to the officer, that's justification for being taken down when you think about it. Say that I'm a person who got pulled over and he's a cop. Don't judge me. <laughs> Even though I hate it, but don't judge me. <laughs> anyway, say that I was pulled over, and the officer does his usual stuff. You have a thing going on with your car. You have to check it and all that stuff. Says, okay, thank you, and I'm on my way. That's all good. Now, if I'm this nice, happy person, and he starts attacking me for no reason... <laughs> That would be a cause for an issue against the officer. Now, have I been combative? Man, officer, you are so annoying. Don't listen to a bad day either. <laughs> anyway, if that happens, that's cause for the officer to take down the person, put him in the custody, and all that stuff. Now, what is with this assumption that all of a sudden anything the other person does is nice and handy dandy, so the officer is automatically guilty? There's no logic to that. There absolutely is no logic to that. And the more this happens, ridiculously enough, in 2015, the more, the more ridiculous it seems to be getting. And we're almost done with the year over the next four months. And we're almost done with summer. And this has been the craziest year I've seen so far. Case in point. Crazy! See, here's something about this that I don't understand. The second paragraph says, quote, The video from a motion-operated camera shows there was no activity for 90 minutes in the hallway leading to the cell where authorities say 28-year-old Sandra Bland was found hanged on July 13th. Scoot down a few later. This investigation is still being treated just as it would, it would be a murder investigation. So you're saying that someone went into her cell, tied something around her neck, and hanged her. First of all, if that was the case, if you have a motion-operated camera, shouldn't you have automatic evidence of that? Yeah, that pretty much should have been kicking your ass on that one, saying, if you got a camera, Mm, that might want to, I don't know, build the f***ing camera! Mm-hmm. And look what happened to, to this person. She hung herself. Yeah, this person. And then later on, quote, this is not a case of suicide, but homicide, says Reverend Jamal Bryant, who I assume is dark colored, right? Actually, he's mixed because enough. Okay. 
It seems to me that, uh, let's see, okay, Church of Baltimore. Oh, dear God. Going, that's what it says, Temple, the Empowerment Temple AME Church of Baltimore. I assume you know where that is. Well, I'm originally from there, and that's my hometown city. Shut up, don't quote me, kiss my ass, you don't like it. Continue. I don't worry about it. Now, anyway, it seems that people like him these days want to defend the person who they believe is the victim, when instead, like Kevin Harvick's nickname is, the instigator. Really? Yeah, that, that's his nickname, the instigator. Yeah, what's that person? You mean Kevin Harvick? Or the person here? Kevin Harvick? What is he, a wrestler? <laughs> he wishes he was. Oh, I'll check a second. He's a... Yeah, he's basically that. He's a... He's, he, he, he's hey, a wrestler. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> anyway, basically, the person, according to all these people now, the person who instigated all of this is automatically innocent. There's no logic to that. You have a camera. You have it focused on herself. If she's been like that for 90 minutes or so, then you guys should be able to identify whether she did this or someone did it to her. Hello? So quit the bull with all this stuff and just tell us what the exact story is. You have the evidence right in front of your faces, so it's to take no longer than two seconds to tell us whether she did this or did someone do it to her. And for the cop, here's a little suggestion. Don't ever say I will light you up to someone like that again, okay? If she didn't do nothing wrong and she pulled out a cigarette, Legally, she's entitled to do so. You didn't remember, you didn't read her Miranda Rice, which damn sure I seen it. If you didn't read, if, if, then here's a little slow admonish for all those who are seriously familiar with the legal system. If nobody has not read your Miranda rights, then you're pretty much scot free to go. If you don't know what I meant. Just pretty much learn it, unless you are a dropout dumbass. Hmm. This is even worse. The, the bottom paragraph on the first page says that the video camera is motion sensitive. You do know what that means, right? Anything that is detected by body heat. No, motion sensitive, which means if there's anything going on, it's on. So if she was moving and doing all that stuff, then the camera should have saw that. If someone else was doing it or walking the area, the camera would get that. Pretty much. <laughs> and he says, if nothing is taking place after a certain amount of time, it turns off. Which means you should have even more of a window to go through than those 90 minutes you guys suggest. Mm hmm? Really took that long to look it up? 90 minutes? 90 minutes would have taken me long to watch the reruns episodes of Don't Be a Menace on TBS. Uh, but in Lamest Shines, we'll be seeing just do the right thing. Look at the fucking camera. Watch it! That's all we're asking. Especially what the lights have been going on. Especially what happened. Well, two weeks ago when the movie Trainwreck came out. You don't know what Trainwreck is. This is such a title, but it's a movie. Call me wrong. And like what happened three years ago in Aurora, Colorado, with the Aurora, Colorado shootings when Batman begins. The final Batman movie of Kristen Bale's career came out. I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but pretty much it really did happen. Let's see what this little thing come up right here. Ah, this one. Police say Drifter killed two injured nine in Lafayette movie theater shooting Grand 16 Theater when the movie came out starring Bill Heater, a formerly of Saturday Night Live member of it, certain comedian, and actress and comedian turned actress Amy Schumer of her show Inside Amy Schumer on Comedy Central. Don't know it? www.comedycentral.com. There's your answer. Okay, let's take a look. Okay, that's a weird stuff.
something like this is very much things okay, we're just assuming that they think Susan all these some hypocritical bastards saying, What the hell wrong? Shut up, you don't like it. You want intermission? I'll give you intermission. Watch this thing, hang on. You seriously just pause the thing, go around, go to the restaurant, get a drink, get a snack, do whatever you want, kiss your girlfriend or boyfriend goodbye, tell him shut up, I'm watching the video. Otherwise, just wait. Like I said, unless you're over 17, you shouldn't watch this right now, okay? Yeah, that's why I said it's over 17. I'm, I'm not doing 18 no more. 18 is just a bad name. Mm-hmm. This is that 59-year-old who, uh... Shut up. Yeah, the Louisiana movie theater thing. Mm -hmm. The train wreck one that came out two, uh, two weeks ago. It'll be three weeks this coming Friday. Yeah, there's definitely something wrong with this. Why was this guy not getting help? That's my question. Well, first of all, why in the world you shooting me once all of his rocket and all and all of his mess? But what did he do anyway to shot down those people? He didn't do nothing wrong. Same thing with that lunatic that happened down in Aurora, Colorado three years ago. Which, by the way, I hope you're riding hell, jackass, because you just got your freaking guilty plea of death. If you don't know what it means, his sentencing was to death yesterday during the trial. Sorry, dude. What you did was wrong. Now you realize you're going to pay for it. Even though it, it's a little bad thing to say about unless you're Christian and biblical, meaning you believe in the man upstairs, which I'm not going to judge. So I'm going to respect your beliefs. And it does this in the Bible. Do not murder. But hey, the dude killed freaking a lot of people three years ago. So what the hell should we just go about? Forgive him? Fuck no! Hmm. There's a couple sentences in this thing that kind of, that's kind of haunting. First of all is this one that says, A one online profile believed to have been filled out by Hauser in 2013. He wrote that he believes the U.S. will have a Mad Max style social breakdown by 2018. He claimed no political affiliation and said voting was a waste of time. Really? Mad Max? I've never actually seen that movie, so I want to see what he's talking about. So. Me neither. All I know is that I know they did a remake of it from the original, which stars Mel Gibson. <laughs>
where it came from. That's true, but then again, the ABC don't mostly tell a lot of the stuff, too, because they keep on interrupting the stuff on TV. <laughs> I like you, CBS. No, no, so, I mean, yeah, I'm talking about you, CBS. If I see any more freaking interruptions, you better have a good reason why you're interrupting the press is right. And it better be good! Well, unless you seriously interrupt me for a special moment for people getting free money, then, okay, you just got my attention. His wife also removed guns from their home in 2008. She believed that he has become so worried about the defendant's volatile mental state that she has removed all guns or weapons from their marital residence. Hey, lady, can I ask you a question? How come you didn't divorce that son of a bitch? That should have been your logic answer right there. You should have divorced him a long time ago. <laughs> and this, this makes even less sense. On a Facebook page believed to be his, he wrote, The Bible doesn't ask me to like what it says, only to obey it. First of all, I know for a fact that's false. Death Definitely. Comes, uh, death, comes soon, death comes soon to the financially failing filth farm called the U.S. Technically, that's Russia, so yeah, you lose that one. Yeah, unless you're a fan of Russian folk cult and you steal those. Sorry, I'm an American. Give me a break. Mm. This dude obviously had mental issues. Why was he not in an area where he could recover? Why was he out in free public society? I don't get this. This is the kind of stuff I don't like. People always want to rage out against people who are mentally ill in one way or another and never want to help them. And because of that, they feel betrayed and stuff like this happens. This is one of the things that I don't like. You guys want to chastise and rage out against the mentally ill one way or another, whether they're addicted to pills or beer or have something wrong with their brains or anything like that. You guys always want to shun them and this is the crap that happens. And you're always wondering, what was going through their minds? Hmm, maybe you. Well, I don't know. Pay more attention! Oh, yeah. Oh, by the way, just to another addiction, unless you seriously are addicted to ch candy, that's a different thing. Unless you're addicted to, um, respectfully saying, Get your leg! Then that's pretty much similar. It's a fact! Don't quote me, people! Yeah. I just don't get this. Why? Are, this is one of the weaknesses of the United States. We do not have a good health system when it comes to the mentally ill. We should be building some sort of shelters for these people and get people in there. There you go, the economy. Make jobs for these kind of people. Get jobs for people who can help the mentally ill like this dude so stuff like this doesn't happen. Have them in a nice, calm, sane place where they can be themselves and they can express their opinions and you can listen to them. If we have places like that for people like this, then BS like this wouldn't happen. Just a term. Mm. How should I put this in Lamus? Oh, yeah. Can I see that market, please? I'll give you a little example of it. Listen and listen good. <laughs> Bingo! Yeah, common sense. Does this sound any more interesting to you? Because I pretty much think it should be. So enough of building all your fancy motels and all that stuff or this little store right over here or this little mall over here or this little school here. We should be helping the mentally ill to help them get into a nice peaceful place where they can be themselves and they can recover and live happy productive lives just like any normal human being. We should not be shunning these kind of people or raging them out. Otherwise, they could just go bonkers against us 
and start bang, 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 shooting up people. We do not want that. And we're not serious in men saying we're mentally ill is to be harsh, okay? Even though it does sound a little bit bad to say, but it's completely true. Just when just saying what's the honestly truth. We're not saying some thing just to break some, oh, I don't know, just mental little bastards. What would the, uh, what would be the correct term for that be, would you know? Mental Cause... health. But yeah, mental health thing? Yeah. Yeah, but when someone says mental illness, it's just pretty much sounds a little harsh. But then again, it's alright. Really? As long, as long as you say it in a good way, that's fine. We're not trying to do that, people. None of that. Yeah, the people with mental illnesses. That's what I'm talking now, about. Now, if you do say the word retarded, oh, you're pretty much going to read That's it. the bad term. That's what this I try to This is what happens when you ever to say the word retarded. You understand me? That should be taken out the damn missionary period. But then again, it's part of the end bomb, which yeah, I hate that. Refer to another part. Yeah. Which if you saw the last video, you knew what the hell we're talking about. And speaking of the uh, mental health things too, another thing I wanted to talk about, because this will probably get some interest in this interest to all of you and her and myself. I for one am diagnosed, and I mean this respectfully, diagnosed with Schizoaffective Disorder. Not Schizophrenia, Schizoaffective Disorder. If you don't know what that means, listen and listen good. Schizoaffective Disorder is a serious mental illness, and I'm not saying that to be mean, that is, has two features, different conditions. Schizophrenia and an affective mood disorders in parentheses that may be diagnosed as either major depression or bipolar disorder. Thank the Lord I don't have that. Schizophrenia is a brain disorder that dis distorts the way a person thinks, as expresses emotions, precise reality, and re relates, relates to others. Depression, we pretty much won't know what a depression is, so I'm not just swing about that. And we all damn know what a bipolar is, so I'm not just about that either. But let me just put this in another terms of my schizophrenic disorder. It's a lifelong illness that can impair uh, impact all areas of daily living, including work or school, social contests, and relationships. Most people with this illness have period, period, what the hell is that P word? Periodic. Periodic episodes called, called relapse or past issues when their symptoms surfaces. While there is no cure for schizophrenic disorders, uh, that's a bunch of bullshit. I wish it was. Symptoms often can be controlled by proper treatment. And what co and what are the symptoms of it? For well, and for first example, depression, pure appetite, weight loss, or gain. Don't get me judged on that one, please. I deal with that a lot. Changes in sleep and sleep patterns, agitation, lack of energy, loss of interest and usual activities, feeling worthlessness or hopeless hopelessness. In other words, feeling like a, a big capital failure. Guilt or self-blame, inability to think or concentrate, thoughts of suicide or death. How about thoughts of 
fatality. Manic mania, which, you know, managed in the one, increased our activity including work, school, or Social. Uh -uh. Sexual activity? Pass. Inc increase of rapid talking, rapid racing thoughts, little need of sleep, agitation, inf inflated self-esteem, distractibility, self-destructive or dangerous behavior. Hmm, case in point. Uh-huh. So now you understand about difference between, yeah. But that wouldn't be like, that wouldn't be like that. And that would not be me either. But yeah, that's something I've been wanting to discuss with and discuss with her too because some of the things these two, yes, I deal with their on the different things too. One of them, especially when it comes to the part about, you know, past things, yes, I pretty much do this for a long time and none of the reasons why I like where I sat because maybe I pretty much deal with a lot of those things like failure and was, you know, less hopelessness. Maybe the reason why because of my past issues to deal with in language terms, my oh god, I'm so famous. My fucking father. But I try my best to stay positive, which is really hard for me to do. And one of them is losing those that I care about and also losing trust, I mean, just dealing with trust issues. Because I have been hurt in the past and I tend to keep myself guarded. And I'm trying to stay with strays positive as I can be each time, but it's not easy. Now, if you're wondering how does it feel dealing with schizophrenia disorder, I'm about to put this in two words. Not easy, okay? I gotta deal with things I don't like a lot of form. And one of them, I gotta take medication a lot for my depression. And one of the side effects is may cause drowsiness. It should sure say it'll knock your ass out when you're sleeping. Or in other terms, weight gain, case in point. Do I hate it? N yes and no. And then again, I wish I could go back to my high school weight. Which I was, and I'm not going to say what it is, because then again, I pretty much don't even want to feel comfortable saying it. That explains why I wear a lot of this for and things like this. Long pants. So you may imagine this. Is there no cure for it? It should be a cure for it. Because I will be first in line to get whatever the hell you're having. But I'd rather be respected as I am. Doesn't matter if I deal with this kind of these two. And another thing, when it comes to mental health issues, don't refer to me as retarded because I'm not stupid. I didn't graduate from high school and became a former valedictorian in the eighth grade for nothing, people. As far as I'm concerned, I can say the alphabet backwards less than 15 seconds. Done it. And I'm damn proud of it. Hard part, N, L, and K. Try to say that. It's real fast in 50 seconds. It's called hidden talent. And another example, best friends. I lost two of them too because of the past issues. Do I really need meals anymore? No, because this was my best friend right here too. But then again, I do have a fear that pretty much my certainly well, um, something may happen. I mean, something's gonna happen next week. I'm not gonna say because it's none of your business. If you don't, don't, first of all, what I'm going to say about it, I'd rather respect her privacy, which I'm going to do. Do I have a fear of losing those I care about? Every fucking day of the week. And don't judge me because I'm sending the F-bomb cussing. Maybe you should understand that's part of this diagnosis. That's something I've been wanting to discuss for a while because I do fear a lot of things. Because I almost had my life taken away seven years ago. And as far as I'm concerned, I'm thinking I'm still living, but I still have that little dream of having that blade to my throat seven years ago. And it wasn't pretty.
because I dealt with the wrong people at the wrong time. And now you ask me, how does it feel to deal with this effect of disorder? And I'm not crazy to you or have a split personality, thank you. I may do Two-Face from Batman, but I'll do next. that I'm one of his friends. He needs people like me. People who can understand. People who care. People who will be there for him. And no, no matter what, I'm not going to leave you. We'll still have our hands. See this? It's a list of people that I trust. And one of them is my mother and my sister and her. So try and figure this out. Because I, I lost a lot of people in the past because they took advantage of me, backstabbed me, and used me. And I didn't feel like it. Mm-hmm. This is why we need more friendly people out there. This is why we need to help people like him. This is why we need to show these guys that there is hope for the future. And that there are people who will support people like him. There's no reason to shun them. You don't want something crazy happening and then you'll regret it later on. I'll always be here for my bestie. We've known each other for years. And there's no circumstance in which I ditch him. I wouldn't. No matter what happens in the future, I'll be there for him. If it takes a little while because of work or otherwise, so be it. But I will be here for him. That goes the same with me. But if you hurt her feelings, swear to God, I don't care if I go to jail and kick your ass. But that's one thing I try to avoid. Because if you F with those I care about, I just, let me just put this in lame as time you can understand. Blocker, please. Fight! Thank you. Or her! Doesn't matter. Yeah, because I can do it too. I'm actually beating up the school bully in eighth grade, so... Yeah, I'm not one you want to mess with. There's a reason that one of my nicknames and my YouTube username, the main channel, has the word DRAGON in it. And since in one of my other channels, I have the name Raiden in it because he is the Thunder God from a video game. He's more and he's physical and powerful too. And he doesn't take no shit for nobody, especially his enemies, Shao Kahn and Shang Tsung. That's S H A G and space T S U N G. Raiden. On oh, FYI, if I had a seriously made nice comment about this person. At least she looks better looking than my former friend Carrie. No offense. <laughs> At least you don't seriously deal with going to listen to Joyce Mile all the time, and I'd rather be hearing a song, a Digimon or a Pokemon song than hearing that crap. I don't even know who that is. Televangelist. Ah, okay. One of those guys. Gotcha. <laughs> But hopefully, you guys are getting the point here, right? If you see someone who's struggling along for one reason or another, help them out. Don't bash them. Don't bully them. Don't shun them. Or judge them. Or bad things could happen because of all those feelings that they've been hurt by over the years. That's why I hang, that's why I hang out with people like this. These are the kind of people that I can care for. People I can help out. People I want to hang out with. It takes more than just interest to be somebody's friend. If you can get an understanding of their personality, you know how to help them out. Our main connection is game shows. 
And we found a lot more things that we have a connection with. stuff, but so what? He's more on the entertainment side than I am. I'm more on the NASCAR side than he is. So what? We can be friends. In fact, we're best friends. We're besties. It doesn't matter what issues he's had in the past. I'm still going to be there for him because he's my bestie. So if you know someone out there who has a little bit of a problem going on, regardless of what it is, take the time to help them. Help them see the brighter things in life. And don't be a complete ass to them either. By doing that, you help them out, you help society out, you help everyone out, you help the world out. One thing, make sure you trust them. Because that's one thing that's wrong with this damn society is trust. Mm-hmm. Now, as long as his parents, that's a different story. <laughs> but if I seriously had, if I didn't ditch my prom thing a long time ago, I would have asked her to go to my prom. Because <laughs> I didn't go. No shit on that one. And you're probably like, wait a minute, you didn't go to your prom? No, I didn't go. I got ditched. If you don't know what ditched means, stood up, backstab, betray, bamboozle. Do I gotta look it up for you? I can turn Alistair Beck in a heartbeat if you ready to do. Backstab, bamboozle, betrayed, hurt. Things to deal with things to deal with the word being ditched. <laughs> I know it's not Jeopardy's pyramid, but shut up, don't judge me. And speaking of the game show wise, hey GSN, did we get a little thing of you? Did we get this to you? Honestly, can you just change this uh, thing to you? we still can go buy it, okay? They have been modifying it a bit. They've been getting uh, less and less Steve Harvey stuff and adding more shows now, even though a lot of them is actually the new chain reaction, so. Yeah, and I found Game Wars. Yeah, and I, know, and I saw who's a new host. He was on Dr. Drew's talk show not too long ago. Talking about what happened in Texas. Eh, he's alright. Okay then. Reminds me of another BS game show from a few years back. Hosted by some doctor or something. It's best that if you forget about it. I don't want to know about it. You don't want to know about it, believe me. Thank you. But anyway. You guys are understanding what we're saying, right? I really hope so. Yeah. This is the kind of thing that's been going on in our society for a long time. You have hospitals for people who get physically ill or injured, right? Why do we have a facility like that for people on the mental side of that? Because mental illnesses or injuries take longer to heal than physical stuff does. The body can heal easily. The mind can't. We should have facilities for these kind of people so we can help them out. Help them get a brighter side of life so they can be more happy and not in a crazed state like the dude in that shooting. By helping people like them out, tragedies like that don't happen. So help somebody out today. That's all we ask. Oh, and another thing about what happened in Texas, do we really need, need to remind you about the cash tag that she created with? It goes, mm, quit the shit with racism. Mm-hmm.
Exactly. How about your fellow man? And fellow friend? Or fellow lady, if you want to be nice. Oh, thank you. How about your fellow person today? I have my bestie here. And you go find someone like him. Or her. <laughs> and just be nice to them, okay? Honestly. Yeah. I'll end up. Quit the shit racism. Got it? Thank you. In her words, as you would say, and that's my final answer. <laughs> I was going to say the exact same thing. <laughs> And that's our final answer.